Have you ever wondered who really is the richest person in the world? Forget all those lists about tech giants and businessmen that we already know, because there's one family that you might have never heard of, the Rothschilds. This family owns the world. Don't believe me? By the end of this video, you will. Their estimated net worth is rumored to be an unbelievable $20 trillion, and their annual income is rumored to be a jaw-dropping $690 billion. They own 1,800-plus luxury mansions across the globe and have hundreds of private jets. Sounds like a movie? Well, it's not, because this is the real life of the Rothschilds. Let's take a closer look at them. Who are the Rothschilds? The Rothschilds' rise to immense wealth and influence was a gradual process, spanning decades and even centuries, rather than an overnight phenomenon. This renowned family, hailing from Europe, achieved their billionaire status through astute investments and an exceptional understanding of finance. Their legacy is that of bankers, philanthropists, and entrepreneurs who have left an indelible mark on the world. Over the course of more than two centuries, the Rothschilds meticulously built their fortune and reputation in the financial sector. Their banking and finance businesses became pillars of their success, enabling them to accumulate vast resources and assets. Additionally, their shrewd investments in numerous industries further bolstered their wealth and influence, making them a significant force in global economics. Today, the Rothschilds stand as one of the most powerful and influential families in the world. The origins of the Rothschild family's wealth can be traced back to the 18th century, when Meyer Amschel Rothschild established a financial services business in Frankfurt, Germany. Through strategic investments, the Rothschilds have acquired significant stakes in some of the globe's most successful and renowned companies. Among their notable holdings are substantial shares in companies like Shell Oil and De Beers, which have further contributed to the family's already immense wealth. In addition to their corporate investments, the family's wealth extends into the realm of real estate. With extensive property holdings in various countries, their real estate portfolio spans across the United States, Britain, France, Switzerland, and other regions as well. Beyond their business ventures, the Rothschild's influence is further amplified by their extensive political connections. The family's network of relationships includes ties to many powerful figures in the financial world. These connections have undoubtedly undoubtedly played a role in their ability to navigate complex financial landscapes and maintain a strong foothold in global markets. In essence, the Rothschilds' capacity to anticipate and seize financial opportunities, coupled with their far-reaching network of international relationships, have been pivotal in sustaining their prominence and influence in the ever-evolving world of finance. The Origin and Rise of the Rothschilds the family's journey to prominence began in 1744, with the birth of Meyer Amschel Rothschild. On the 23rd of February in Frankfurt, Germany, his father, Amschel Moses Rothschild, was a money changer, involved in trading with the Prince of Hesse, and was raised in the Judengasse, the Jewish ghetto of Frankfurt. Tragedy struck early in Meyer Amschel Rothschild's life, when his parents passed away. Despite the challenges, Meyer Amschel displayed remarkable intelligence and ambition, and embarked on his career as an apprentice in a banking house, where he quickly honed his skills and eventually emerged as a banker in his own right. Meyer Amschel Rothschild's astute financial acumen paved the way for the creation of his vast empire. He took a visionary approach by strategically sending each of his five sons, Amschel, Nathan, Jacob, Solomon, and Carl, to the five main European financial centers. This bold move allowed the Rothschild family to establish a strong foothold in these critical hubs of economic activity. Through the collective efforts of Meyer Amschel and his sons, the Rothschilds steadily rose to prominence in the world of finance, becoming one of the most influential and affluent families in history. Meyer Amschel Rothschild and his eldest son Amschel took charge of expanding the family business in Frankfurt, Germany. Meanwhile, Nathan, another of Meyer's sons, laid the foundation for a branch in London in 1804. In the following years, Jacob established operations in Paris in 1811, while Solomon and Carl ventured into Vienna and Naples, respectively respectively, opening offices during the 1820s. This strategic dispersal of their financial operations across major European cities helped solidify the Rothschilds' influence and reach. Meyer Rothschild's five sons shared a distinctive and astute business strategy, which involved significant investments in the stock of companies during economic downturns. Their foresight allowed them to stay ahead of the market, acquiring stocks and other investments at opportune moments to maximize their returns. Their shrewd business 
business acumen enabled them to negotiate deals that not only benefited themselves, but also their clients, establishing a reputation for excellence in financial matters. The family's fortunes underwent significant shifts during times of war. The Rothschilds played a pivotal role in financing various warring princes during these tumultuous periods. In addition to legal trading, their activities also included smuggling, further contributing to their financial prowess. Through these ventures, they engaged in the trade of essential commodities, such as wheat, cotton, colonial produce, and arms, thus profiting from the supply and demand dynamics driven by conflict. As periods of peace prevailed, the Rothschild business underwent a transformation. While they continued their international business dealings, the family banking group transitioned into specialized agents, focusing on government securities, insurance company stocks, and shares of industrial companies. The Rothschilds displayed remarkable adaptability to the changing times, especially during the Industrial Revolution. They wisely participated in the economic growth sweeping across Europe, making strategic investments in various industries, including railways, coal mining, ironworking, and metallurgy. These ventures formed the bedrock of their future success, solidifying their position as key players in Europe's economic landscape. Over time, the family's prudent approach led them to diversify their investments further. They ventured into a wide array of sectors, including coal, oil, real estate, and wine. This diversification strategy proved highly rewarding, significantly boosting the family's assets and wealth. A crucial aspect of their success were the extensive networks the Rothschilds cultivated, spanning across various regions and markets. These far-reaching connections facilitated their access to diverse opportunities and allowed them to capitalize on emerging prospects. The Rothschilds' ability to adapt, diversify, and leverage their expansive networks contributed immensely to their enduring prosperity and prominent status as one of the most influential and affluent families in the world. The Rothschilds were also very careful about their choices in their personal lives, including marriages. Meyer Rothschild employed a strategy similar to the practice of royal intermarriages, prevalent during those times, to safeguard the family's fortune and influence. He arranged marriages for his sons, often among first or second cousins within the family. This strategic approach aimed to keep the wealth consolidated within the family and maintain a sense of continuity. However, as subsequent generations emerged, this practice gradually faded due to practical reasons and societal changes. By the late 19th century, most Rothschilds started to marry outside the family. But these marriages weren't outside aristocracy or other financial dynasties and were still carefully selected to align with the family's interests and values, ensuring the preservation of their wealth and legacy. The Rothschilds' far-sighted investments in transportation, communication, and energy networks revolutionized the way people communicated and traveled, leaving a profound impact on society. Their involvement in major historical business deals, such as the Suez Canal and the Union Pacific Railroad, further solidified their position as influential players in global commerce. Yet perhaps the most enduring aspect of their legacy lies in the inspiration they have provided to generations of entrepreneurs and financiers. The Rothschild's success story serves as a testament to the importance of making sound investments, embracing diversification, and implementing effective risk management strategies. Their achievements have set a standard that continues to motivate and drive ambitious entrepreneurs striving for success in today's dynamic business world. The Rothschild Family's Assets while there are various conspiracy theories claiming that the Rothschilds own an overwhelming 80% of the world's wealth, these claims are entirely false and lack any credible evidence. However, it is undeniable that the Rothschilds are an extremely wealthy and influential family. Their origins in a small trading company paved the way for significant expansion over the years, encompassing diverse business activities. These include merchant banking, private banking, asset management, acquisitions and mergers, insurance, venture capital, pensions and investments, sovereign debt, and commodities. The Rothschilds' immense wealth is evident in their extensive real estate holdings, boasting a total value of a staggering $36 billion, with a collection of 1,800 opulent mansions around the world. Additionally, they own an impressive fleet of 55 yachts and several private jets, demonstrating their luxurious lifestyle. In managing their vast resources, the Rothschild family has a $100 billion fund earmarked for investing in global stock markets, including renowned exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, 
Exchange, London Stock Exchange, and Tokyo Stock Exchange. Their financial reserves are significant, with approximately 20 billion in US dollars, 6 billion dollars in Japanese yen, and 33 billion dollars in euros. What makes them richer day by day? The Rothschild family's wealth continues to grow due to their astute investments in various sectors. Notably, they own stocks in well-known companies like Meta, Amazon, Apple, Starbucks, Visa, Bloomberg, Bank of America, Qualcomm, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Hewlett-Packard, Berkshire Hathaway, J.P. Morgan Chase, PepsiCo, among others. This diverse investment portfolio contributes to their increasing wealth and financial success. Aside from their involvement in the finance and banking sectors, the Rothschilds have also made their mark in the wine industry. Their interest in winemaking spans 160 years, and they have emerged as significant players in the market. The family, directly and indirectly, controls over 70% of total wine sales in Europe, resulting in impressive revenue of over 16 billion dollars in the previous year alone. They own multiple prestigious wine estates across various regions, including Italy, France, South America, South Africa, and Australia. In addition to their commercial pursuits, the Rothschild family demonstrates a commitment to nobility by supplying wine to the Vatican Church for free. This combination of novelty in their business ventures and their philanthropic efforts underscores their enduring legacy and impact on both the financial and social landscapes. Regarding Regarding their financial interests, the Rothschild family has a significant presence in the finance sector, controlling more than 25 banks and investment companies across the globe. They hold equity investments in 8 out of 10 major financial institutions worldwide, showcasing their substantial influence in the industry. N. M. Rothschild & Sons, their English investment bank, focuses on mergers and acquisitions, while Paris Orléans S.A. serves as their financial holding company. Additionally, the family owns Rabobank Group, a prominent private and investment bank in the Netherlands. With immense wealth and considerable control over the finances of regions, the Rothschilds' influence extends beyond financial matters. Their power reaches into social, economic, and political realms, allowing them to influence and shape major decisions between nations. Historical examples demonstrate how their financial control played a role in significant events, such as their involvement in Brazil's independence from Portugal in the early 19th century and their profitable contributions to the British British government during the Napoleonic Wars. Their pervasive influence in multiple aspects of society has led to speculation about the extent of their control. While it is essential to consider the credibility of such claims, there's no denying the Rothschilds' long-standing prominence and influence in global finance and their significant historical involvement in various pivotal events. Would it be an exaggeration to claim that they outright own the entirety of Europe? Maybe, maybe not. The Rothschild Family's Guilty Pleasures the Rothschilds aren't just about banks and investments. They splurge on their astronomical wealth and indulge in an extravagant lifestyle. Among their exorbitant purchases is the Planet Nine superyacht, owned by the newer generation Rothschild, Nat Rothschild. This lavish vessel comes with a jaw-dropping price tag of $102 million and was built in 2018. Stretching 240 feet in length, it boasts state-of-the-art amenities, including a helipad, beach club, and spa. With its plush interiors meticulously designed by top German interior designers, the Planet 9 can comfortably accommodate up to 16 guests, along with a crew of 26 members. When Nat Rothschild isn't cruising the seas, he doesn't let his yacht remain idle at the port. Instead, true to the family's penchant for seizing opportunities, he rents out the luxurious Planet 9 to discerning clients. Offering this extravagant vessel for charter allows the Rothschilds to earn additional millions. The rental price for the Planet 9 is a staggering $725,000 per week, which drops slightly to $650,000 per week during the winter months. With such grandeur in their possessions, the Rothschilds certainly indulge in the finer things in life, demonstrating their penchant for luxury and their ability to enjoy their wealth to the fullest. The Rothschild family's winemaking prowess shines through their ownership of Chateau Mouton Rothschild, where rich and 
and luxurious wine is meticulously fermented and produced. The estate covers an impressive 222 acres in Bordeaux, France, and its estimated value is an astounding 150 to 200 million dollars, excluding the value of the wine produced. Considering the high price per bottle of their Cabernet and Sauvignon wines, which stands at $700, it's evident that the wine production significantly boosts the overall value of the estate. Another stunning property in the Rothschild portfolio is the Waddesdon Manor, situated in the village of Waddesdon in Buckinghamshire, England. Initially built for Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild and his family in 1877 for $1.8 million, the estate's value has soared over time to an astonishing $250 million. The mansion's awe-inspiring architecture houses a remarkable collection of expensive portraits and antique treasures, making it a true masterpiece. The property also features a museum that attracts around 460,000 visitors annually, offering a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of the Rothschilds. The mansion showcases an incredible array of 25,000 antiques and artworks, including a writing desk made for Marie Antoinette and a gold bracelet gifted to the Rothschilds by Queen Victoria herself. It's remarkable to consider that these luxurious properties represent just a fraction of the Rothschilds' vast real estate holdings, which encompass around 1,800 mansions. The family's opulent lifestyle and extensive collection of prestigious properties and treasures continue to be a testament to their enduring legacy as one of the world's most influential and affluent families. In addition to their vast real estate holdings, the Rothschild family has extended their influence to include ownership of numerous businesses worldwide. Among their most profitable ventures is Agora Oil and Gas, which was acquired by Lord Rothschild, the great-grandson of Meyer Amschel Rothschild and the grandson of Nathan Meyer Rothschild, for an astounding $370 million. This investment has proven to be a shrewd move by Lord Rothschild, considering the indispensability of oil and gas as crucial resources needed by every country. Over time, Agora Oil and Gas has grown exponentially in value, reaching an astronomical worth of $1.4 billion today. Like numerous wealthy individuals, especially from Europe, the Rothschilds share a deep appreciation for art, boasting impeccable taste in their collections. In addition to their stunning artifacts of gold and silver and exquisitely crafted furniture, the family possesses an extensive array of art, including vintage pieces dating as far back as the 16th and 17th centuries. The Rothschilds' art collection is truly remarkable, valued at an astounding $2 billion. Their collection features royal art pieces and furniture, representing a treasure trove of cultural and historical significance. The family's admiration for art has not only drawn the attention of Queen Victoria, but has also garnered interest from unlikely figures. During World War II, Adolf Hitler took a few of the Rothschild's paintings while in France. With their vast wealth and exceptional taste, the Rothschilds have cultivated a world-renowned art collection that showcases their passion for cultural heritage and artistic beauty. The Rothschilds' Economic and Political Power The Rothschilds' immense wealth has granted them significant power and influence, extending beyond mere financial prowess. Their strong political connections and economic control have earned them a reputation as one of the most influential families in the world. While some have speculated about the source of their wealth, Others believe it to be a result of their exceptional financial acumen and skillful investment decisions. One of the key figures in the family's financial operations is Jacob Rothschild. He established the Rothschild Investment Trust, known as RIT Capital Partners, headquartered in the Grand Spencer Building in London. This private entity oversees the family's banking assets in England and holds a position of prominence in the financial world. The opulent interior of the Spencer Building, adorned with antique furniture and gold and fixtures reflects the family's wealth and taste for luxury. The building itself holds an estimated value of $42 million, serving as a symbol of the family's power and success. The Rothschilds have earned a reputation for their astute investment decisions, always seeking high-demand business projects that generate substantial returns. A significant portion of their wealth is attributed to their extensive gold holdings. They also own the Rio Tinto Mining Corporation, which stands as the second largest largest metal mining corporation globally. Their influence spans the globe, with their companies establishing a significant presence in numerous countries, including Canada, the United States, South America, Africa, Italy, China, 
and Australia. Collectively, these companies are valued at a staggering $103 billion, underscoring the family's proficiency in identifying lucrative investment opportunities. Their investment strategy aligns with the pursuit of essential resources, crucial for human and economic progress. They strategically focus on ventures related to oil, gas, and metals, understanding the significance of these resources in shaping the global economy. When it comes to wielding influence and power, politicians are not left out of the equation for the Rothschild. As owners of two large mining corporations, the family's reach extends far and wide, and they have been known to have close ties with many politicians. Their mining ventures have proven to be highly profitable, exemplifying their ability to multiply their wealth through strategic investments. A prime example is Nathaniel Rothschild's purchase of $40 million worth of convertible bonds in Glencore in 2009. Today, the Glencore Mining Company, associated with those bonds, is valued at a staggering $127.5 billion. In addition to Glencore, the Rothschilds also own and operate 31 mining agencies in Australia, making them the largest employers in the country's mining sector. This level of influence and economic power enables them to have a significant hold on economies and even influence political decisions. With their unparalleled influence and control over economies, wealth, and people, the Rothschilds' wealth is poised to grow and multiply for generations to come. There are so many members in the Rothschild family, and over the decades and centuries, almost all of them have strived to do their best. But who, out of all, was the smartest and the most successful one? Let's find out which one of the Rothschilds really stood out. The Most Successful Rothschild among Meyer M. Shell Rothschild's sons, Nathan Rothschild emerged as the most successful. He left his hometown and moved to Manchester, England in 1798, where he initially established a textile business. Later on, he relocated to London, where he made his mark as a prominent banker, founding N. M. Rothschild in 1810. N. M. Rothschild and Sons played a pivotal role during crucial moments in British history. Notably, during the Napoleonic Wars, the bank provided credit to the British government, extending funds to pay British troops and single-handedly financing the war effort. This display of financial support solidified the bank's position and reputation in the financial world. Fast forward to the present, N. M. Rothschild & Sons continues its operations, remaining a significant player in the banking industry. In 2022, the bank reported impressive financial figures, including $3.28 billion in revenue and an astounding $112 billion in assets under management. This enduring success highlights Nathan Rothschild's ability to adapt and thrive in the ever-changing financial landscape, ensuring the Rothschild family's legacy as one of the most influential banking families remains intact. In 1824, Nathan Rothschild joined forces with Moses Montefiore to co-found the Alliance Assurance Company, which is now a part of the RSA Group, a renowned insurance company. In 1835, Nathan made another significant move by acquiring the rights to mercury mines in Spain, a critical resource for refining gold and silver. This strategic purchase showcased his remarkable ability to foresee financial opportunities, as it led to immense profits for N. M. Rothschild and Sons in 1852, when they began refining gold and silver for the Royal Mint and the Bank of England. In 1835, Nathan Meyer Rothschild also embarked on a remarkable real estate venture, building Gunnersbury Park his first land and house estate in Great Britain. He purchased the property for a sum of $70,000, which was huge at that time, and subsequently transformed the mansion and its surroundings into an opulent estate. Over the course of nearly a century, the estate's value soared to approximately $132 million, capturing the attention of the Ealing and Acton Councils of London, who eventually acquired the property. This impressive price tag surpasses even the current valuation of some of Hollywood's most extravagant mansions. This shows Nathan Rothschild's knack for planning his profits decades ahead, and reaping the rewards later. Well-planned long-term investments are what led to his immense financial success in his later years. Nathan Rothschild didn't just invest for personal gains, but was also a philanthropist who generously donated funds to the Jewish community. Later, Nathan Rothschild's family expanded this generosity to Paris and London as well. Nathan Rothschild contributed to synagogues in London, demonstrating his commitment to supporting his community. As time
time went on, other members of the Rothschild family joined in the efforts to contribute to the development of Israel. They invested in various projects, including the construction of housing and government buildings to aid the country's growth. Nathan Rothschild's philanthropy extended to various educational initiatives, and he offered significant financial support to the Jews' free school in London. His generosity did not confine itself to a single location, as he also extended assistance to education-related projects in Austria, France, and Israel. His charitable endeavors extended beyond his lifetime, as Nathan's youngest daughter Louise and her seven daughters took charge of managing numerous Rothschild's charitable foundations. In Frankfurt alone, they oversaw approximately 30 charitable foundations, which encompassed a wide range of initiatives. These foundations supported essential institutions, such as public libraries, orphanages, and hospitals, as well as facilities for the elderly and funds for special education. While Nathan was undoubtedly a standout figure among the Rothschilds due to his financial acumen, the family as a whole demonstrated a strong commitment to philanthropy and charitable deeds. Their immense wealth allowed them to engage in various generous endeavors, supporting causes beyond education as well. Throughout their history, the Rothschilds have been involved in numerous charitable activities, contributing to the development of public institutions, supporting humanitarian causes, and aiding in various social and cultural projects. Their legacy of philanthropy reflects their dedication to making a positive impact on the lives of others and advancing the welfare of communities across the globe. The Rothschild Family and Philanthropy the Rothschild family has left a profound impact on the world through both their immense wealth and their generous philanthropy. Over the years, they have set up a widespread network of charitable trusts and foundations, channeling their resources to support various humanitarian efforts globally. Renowned for their benevolence, the family has made significant donations to a diverse range of causes. They have been instrumental in funding medical research to advance healthcare, establishing educational scholarships to promote learning and knowledge, and contributing to the arts and cultural initiatives to enrich society. Philanthropy for the Rothschild family was not limited to providing financial aid. They also took a hands-on approach to their charitable endeavors. Wholeheartedly involved, they established a wide array of charitable initiatives in Frankfurt and Vienna, showcasing their dedication to making a positive impact on their communities. In Frankfurt, the family supported diverse causes, including dental clinics, a free public library, and a swimming bath for the public's benefit. They also showed care for the elderly by establishing old age homes and orphanages for the welfare of children. Additionally, the family extended help to ensure that children could receive an education by funding school fees. Soup kitchens were set up to provide food assistance to those in need, and they contributed to the improvement of health care through the establishment of hospitals. The family's philanthropy extended to Vienna, where they created an even wider range of foundations. Alongside hospitals, orphanages, and educational foundations, they also established a municipal theater, contributing to the cultural enrichment of the city. Furthermore, they demonstrated their concern for the less fortunate by establishing a foundation to support destitute photographers, showcasing their commitment to nurturing various artistic pursuits. The Rothschilds had a strong focus on supporting educational initiatives, and they placed a significant emphasis on providing assistance to young people. One of their long-standing commitments was the support they provided to the Jews' free school in London's East End, where their contributions spanned multiple generations. Additionally, in both London and Paris, they established the 4% Industrial Dwellings Company Limited and the Rothschild Foundation dedicated to providing social housing for those in need. The family's philanthropic efforts were not confined to specific geographical locations. Rather, they extended their generosity to various regions. A significant testament to their impact is Israel's early economic success. Largely influenced by the Rothschild family, they played a pivotal role in the establishment of numerous colonies for Jewish settlers in Israel. To facilitate the settlers' economic economic growth and sustainability, the family established a silk factory, a vineyard, and a flour mill. Moreover, they introduced new crops, such as grapefruit and avocado, contributing to the diversification and prosperity of the region's agriculture. In recent times, the Rothschild family has directed its philanthropic efforts toward supporting education and creating opportunities in underserved communities in the Middle East and Africa. Alongside this, they have also contributed to job creation and economic development in these regions, aiming to uplift 
impoverished and empower disadvantaged populations. The Rothschilds' charitable contributions extend beyond monetary donations. They have generously donated an estimated 60,000 pieces of artwork to public institutions in the past. This creative aspect of their philanthropy showcases their dedication to enriching the cultural landscape and promoting art. The Rothschild family has a thoughtful, compassionate, and imaginative approach to giving back to society. They believe in creating a positive and meaningful impact on the lives of others, leaving a legacy of generosity that transcends time and borders. The Modern Day Rothschilds over time, the fortunes of the Rothschild family, like many other wealthy families, have likely experienced fluctuations and changes. While rumors about their immense wealth continue to circulate, the exact figures have remained undisclosed, leading to speculation about the true extent of their riches. Regardless of the varying figures reported by different media outlets, one thing remains evident. The Rothschilds are undoubtedly still incredibly wealthy. Despite facing challenges such as wars, political shifts, and internal family rivalries over the past century, their wealth has not dissipated. Like any long-standing family dynasty, the Rothschilds have encountered ups and downs throughout history. Some branches of their banking operations were closed, due to factors such as a lack of male heirs or geopolitical events. For instance, the Naples branch closed in 1863, the Frankfurt branch in 1901, and the Vienna branch in 1938, following the Nazi invasion of Austria, which posed significant dangers to the Jewish community. During World World War II, the Rothschild family faced significant hardships and losses. The Vichy government in France seized their Bordeaux properties, and the Nazis stole millions of dollars worth of art and valuable objects from the Austrian branch of the family. Fortunately, in 1998, some of these precious artifacts were returned to the family by the Austrian government, providing a measure of restitution for their losses. Despite enduring such challenges and adversities over the years, the family continued to persevere. In 2008, they undertook a significant reorganization effort, consolidating all of their holdings under a single company. This move unified the family's business ventures, which had been established over two centuries ago by the five sons of Meyer Rothschild and spread across various locations in Europe. By coming together as a unified entity, the Rothschilds demonstrated their resilience and determination to preserve their family legacy and maintain their prominence in the world of finance and business. In the present day, the Rothschilds continue to maintain a diverse investment portfolio portfolio, spanning various industries such as oil, banking, real estate, and agriculture. Their substantial wealth affords them a unique advantage in identifying and seizing opportunities, making them trendsetters in the global markets. Among the younger members of the Rothschild family is James Rothschild, who married Nikki Hilton, a prominent American socialite and fashion designer, and the sister of Paris Hilton. James's marriage to Nikki Hilton adds an interesting dynamic to the family's connections in the world of fashion and entertainment. Matt. Another notable descendant is David de Rothschild, who resides in Santa Monica, California, and is an environmental activist. He made a significant impact when he embarked on an ambitious journey across the Pacific Ocean in Plastique, a 60-foot catamaran constructed using 12,500 reclaimed bottles and other recycled PET plastic and waste products. This adventure served as a powerful statement about the urgency of addressing environmental issues and promoting sustainability. The Rothschild family's wealth and prominence have allowed some of its members to acquire luxurious properties in prestigious locations. For instance, one of the Rothschild baronesses owned a lavish 14-room apartment at 825th Avenue, known for its exclusivity and opulence. Nat Rothschild, on the other hand, had a pied-à-terre in the fashionable West Village, which he sold for an astounding $17.5 million in 2015. In a bid to expand its presence in the technology-rich region of Silicon Valley, Rothschild Inc. opened an office in San Francisco in 2017. However, despite this effort, Rothschild & Co. has struggled to achieve a more significant influence in the U.S., remaining at boutique status in the country's financial landscape. Despite limited business involvement, several members of the Rothschild family have chosen to reside in the United States, demonstrating their global presence and their ability to access and enjoy various cosmopolitan cities. Alice Rothschild, whose mother belonged to the Guinness Brewing family, married Zach Goldsmith 
a baron and former conservative MP who ran for mayor of London in 2016. Alice's sister Kate, on the other hand, married Zach's brother, Ben Goldsmith. Sadly, neither couple's marriages endured, and they eventually got divorced. The Goldsmith brothers are members of another extremely affluent British family, known for their considerable wealth. Their father, Sir James Goldsmith, was a well-known figure, both for his wealth and for having families in both England and France. In January 2021, the family experienced the sudden passing of one of its wealthiest members, Baron Benjamin de Rothschild, who belonged to the French branch of the family. According to Forbes, he had a net worth of $1.1 billion as of April 2020, making him the richest individual Rothschild at that time. The family's diverse relationships and experiences over the years reflect the complexities of their prominent and influential legacy in the worlds of finance, politics, and society. Jacob Rothschild, the fourth Baron Rothschild, is an 87-year-old retired investment banker who holds the distinction of being the wealthiest living member of the Rothschild family from the English branch. His estimated net worth is around $1 billion, a testament to the family's enduring financial legacy. In addition to his own accomplishments, Jacob Rothschild has a daughter named Hannah who has made her mark in very various creative fields. Hannah Rothschild is a filmmaker and author, showcasing her talent in storytelling and visual arts. Her notable achievements also include serving as the chair of the Board of Trustees of the prestigious National Gallery in London, a position of significant influence in the art world. Together, they represent the family's continued engagement in diverse fields of expertise, contributing to the cultural, artistic, and financial spheres in their own distinct ways. The journey of the Rothschild family is a testament to their resilience and and determination to overcome various challenges. Through hard work, discipline, and consistent financial strategies, they have managed to preserve their wealth and status over the centuries. Their smart investments and financial acumen have been key factors in their continued success. As the family moves forward into the future, their wealth-building legacy is likely to endure, provided future generations continue to follow their passion and principles. Time will reveal how the family's fortune evolves, but their rich history serves as an inspiring example of what can be achieved through passion, perseverance, and strategic financial planning. If you're passionate about the success and lifestyles of the rich and famous and would like to get some inspiration, click on one of the cards on your screen.